Welcome back, everyone. We are back again with a brand new week. Andy Cruz here in business development. And Will Flores with Mortgage Heroes. So we just started the fourth quarter of 2022. It's kind of, I can't believe like the year's gone by so over. fast. It's like almost over, right? So here we are, the first week of October. It's the beginning of the fourth quarter. Man, there's a lot to talk about, but we're going to yes. do it in a condensed version today because we can't unpack everything, but we need to get some high level things out of the way to kind of bring everyone up to speed, talk about what's going on in quarter four, what we expect, and then what to plan for in 2023. There Does you go. Sound exactly. Good? That sounds great, Andy. Okay. All right. I mean, hey, we're already seeing, uh, you know, Christmas stuff at Lowe's. Yeah, what's up with that, October, by the way? But I, I don't thought, know. Yeah, isn't it pumpkin spice season? But they're pushing, <laughs> so we're gonna push. <laughs> okay, well let's let's get to the, the look, let's talk about the some of the most obvious things first. Let's talk yes. about rates first. So. Uh, back in the beginning of the year, rates were hovering around where? Jesus, we're still on the twos. Yep. And then twos, now, trees, four. Yeah. Yeah, the twos, so. then the threes, and the four. And now we're talking what? In the sixes, yeah. low sevens in some yeah, days. Yeah, you huh? know, for our VA, we're going to be in the low sixes, mid sixes. Yeah. Uh, conventional financing, you're going to be in the high sixes, you know, uh, low sevens. I, yeah. that, Depending on geez, the day. Yeah, sevens. I know. I think they were saying, I read that that was back in 2002. Yeah, the national yeah the national average like it touched and then finally crossed seven yeah. percent on average. Correct. Uh, like this week, and you know this has to do a lot with Fed policy, with the Fed yeah. tightening their rate. And again, the Fed does not decide mortgage rates, but their sentiment about Correct. the economy weighs in on the mortgage backed securities exactly. market. Exactly. I mean, all we so, have to look at it is just like a bucket. You know, we have yeah. several buckets yeah. of water. Once the Fed talks, it fills up. It's just going to pour over into yep. everything else. Absolutely. You know? And yep. so in this case, it will pour into the interest rate yep. you know, environment in which it has. Yeah. So with that, of course, it's, it's slowed down some aspects of uh, the mortgage business. Um, however, people still have crazy equity in their house. That's so correct. let's talk about house prices a little bit because yeah. they were on a tear for the last two years. Yeah. And what are we starting to see now? Yeah. So we just got some great, interesting data that actually, well, Mr. Andy Cruz here in us where to get data he got a great graph and it just started telling us exactly how uh, in the in the areas in the most important cities and states yeah. how much um equity people are losing yeah. month to month right yeah. now so it was pretty crazy to see san diego was at seven point seven point six percent six percent yeah exactly yeah i mean uh, so on the list on, so on the graph you're seeing right now on your screen there's 16 cities listed yeah. here and six of them are in california <laughs> um so yeah you see san diego at 7.6 there uh you know and the thing is you know this is a report from august so uh, this, yeah. this, this does not include September's numbers yet, and obviously we just started Correct. October. The other thing I wanted to note really quickly is that we've been talking about this. So in Monday Correct. Mortgage Minute and some of the other videos I've been making, I've been talking about eventually there's going to be enough rate pressure that it will create a flattening in house prices. Absolutely. And so please understand, Will and I, we don't say these things to be negative Correct. or to have a, a certain persuasion or slant of negativity on the market, but the numbers don't yeah. lie and the data is there to support what we've been talking about because it's a mathematical force function. Yes. So and we, you know, what's cool about it is we've been talking about it because we do see, you know, the, the market where it's going, we're reading a lot, we listen to a lot. We're part of big mentorship groups, yeah. Yeah. you know, um, I have my coach and so just like anything else, it's important to have these these people and these tools around you. Yeah. So all we're trying to do again is give the information out so that if you're in a certain position yeah. now in life that you're trying to get to a certain goal, yep. well, either now is the time or mm -hmm. we just wait and we want to give you this data so that it yeah. helps you make that decision. Yeah, so, ultimately yeah. our job is is busy or slow based on the decisions people make. Correct. And right now the decisions have to be a lot more qualified based on the circumstances. Uh, I don't mean underwriting qualified, just the <laughs> yeah. person needs to make some qualified choices. So if you're watching this and you still have home equity, you don't know what to do, maybe you should get a home equity line of credit. Maybe it's like your, your last ditch effort to try to get cash yeah. out or whatever. You know, have those conversations with us because you can be making right moves now that'll help had what's happening Correct. in 2023, 2024, because just as much as we're saying some things have changed really quickly now, it's been necessary for them to change because for almost two years, there was not corrective action taken. No. And so now there's heavy correction action yeah, that's being taken fine. to quell inflation, yeah. to get some controls on the marketplace again. 
and it's not all yeah. working as fast as they want. So us being honest about that helps Correct. you prepare for what you need to look forward in 2023. And you know what? Actually, you brought a good point. You know, um, Eli Musk, Elon Tesla, Musk, Tesla, yeah. right? <clears throat> yep. And Warren Buffett. Yep. One of the wealthiest men here in the it's in the world, the planet, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they actually wrote an article about this, and they discussed the three P's, Andy. Mm -hmm. And so the main topic, uh, number one, is predict, right? Mm -hmm. And so the market's allowing us to more yeah. or less predict what's happening out there. Yeah. And that's what we're saying. Yep. The second one was prepare. Prepare to yeah. for whatever's going to happen. Set yourself apart from the rest, you know, and learn from history what mm -hmm. we didn't do before. That's right. And prepare better this time, that's right? right? And perseverance is the next, the last yes. one, right? So there's yes. your three Ps. Yeah. You know, we want to make sure that we're all here. And that's why we're talking about this information. Yeah. Because it's so important, not just for myself, Andy, we all have family. Yeah, everybody watching this though. You know, so yeah. we all have families and we want to make sure that we're all set up for success yeah. uh, because we're all going to be on a fun ride, guys. Yeah, <laughs> it's this gonna is going to be a fun this one. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, so let, let's talk about what we think quarter four will lead into 2023 because I know there's people watching this that are maybe trying to make a move in 2023 yeah. out of necessity, like they're PCSing to San Diego Correct. or they're PCSing out of San Diego or they're just moving because of change of job, change of life circumstance. Yeah. So what would you tell people today they need to start working on in quarter four with us so that in 2023 like they're already positioned properly for the market yeah. you know the easiest word I could, that thinks when you just said that is be clear yeah you okay. got to be That's clear good. on what That's you good. need to do and you got to prepare yourself right obviously we talked about the three p so start doing that okay and be clear with what you want to do and where you want to be at right. so that you either sell the property or you know you rent out the property mm -hmm. so now more so than ever is surrounding yourself with people who are doing it yeah so yeah you know it's like who knows property <clears throat> managers who knows handyman who knows to yeah. prepare these things who can That's good. do these contracts That's um, good. who's going to give me this information so i really think this is going to be the time in place to start being clear for that next because we and, already know andy that, Halloween's gonna be, it's around the corner. Yeah, we're already blazing through the rest of the <laughs> yeah. year, but I wanna, I wanna make a key note on your point is yeah. that especially now as um, labor just seems to be dwindling and there's like less and less good help around, what we would call good help. Yeah. It's hard to find good help. It seems like it's even harder to find good help yeah. now. So especially as things are changing and there's less good help available, uh, it's really important to have good help around you uh, so that when you do need those things yeah. addressed, you have someone trusted in your camp. Yeah. Well, I really think that stimulus package did that, Andy. I think so too. I, you know, I honestly like, think. So well, I don't have to go to work. I'm gonna get yeah. paid. I well, mean, I, that, I didn't get. I, I can be part of that. And, but, and uh, that ends. I mean, that know? that ends. That goes away. I yeah. think you know we're gonna. There's gonna be some labor struggle. Yeah. So if you have good people in your corner right now, keep them keep close. Them. Yeah. If you don't, ask us because we have people that we're close yes. to that we can refer you to. Yes. Um, okay. So be prepared. Yeah, is obviously kind of the biggest takeaway. The biggest. Um, and then I want to suggest to people that already have land or have space that they really have to consider the the planning process of yeah. an ADU specifically because it still will take time even though there's there's fast track approvals yeah. and there's pre-approved plans on the city's page that's great however back to the labor part you still have to find people that are willing to do the yes. work that are available and are 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 already available to start yeah. working and aren't scheduled out for six months I, I talked to someone this morning that's like yeah um, I'm working on ADU but it's not going to start till February because oh, yeah. the, the contractor is busy. Yeah. So even yeah. if it was approved right now, the, the ground isn't going to break till February. Exactly. And, you know, you got a bunch of other stuff, too. You got the city, uh, you know, yep. um, this <clears throat> SB9 continues to change. So there's a lot more leeway and stuff. But absolutely, like my project, I'm already, you know, working on the I just got the actual drawings. I'll share it on our next video. Yeah. You know, but we got the drawings. I'm super excited to convert the garage and put a second <laughs> story on this. But you know what? The timing is going to take about nine months to a year. Oh, okay. You didn't tell me that part. Yes. I'm finding that out right because, now. Because <laughs> listen, we're gonna, oh, we're, we're gonna, you got, <laughs> you got the architect. Yeah, he gave me a little bit of drawings, but now once I say yes, now the, the, the big oh, sheets man. of paper, the big drawings start, right? So that's gonna take to about another months. month. You know, it takes about a month to just kind of get your idea going. So yeah, there's yeah. two. Then it has to go to the city for approval. That's going to take about another month, right? Mm -hmm. A month and a half. And then, 
you got to start breaking yeah. ground and all yeah. these things, guys, we got to consider the rain. We got to consider all these things yep. as we move forward. Yeah. You know, things are going to change. That's just yeah. what life is. Yeah. So. Well, so the last, last point I wanted to make for today's episode was I just want to talk to the people who are watching this, who, you know, you've been looking for some correction because you want to pick up another property, whether it's your second, third, fourth, fifth property. That's it. Um, I think that with some of the softening and the correction of the pricing of the homes, obviously the cost of money is weighing in on that. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that there will be people whose situation requires them to sell yeah. and they might have to sell at a bit of a discount that Absolutely. they, uh, that, that, that leads you into a good deal. Correct. So keep your eyes open for those things. Start looking in the neighborhoods and the areas that you might be targeting to pick up a good deal. I do think that there's going to be some of those around the corner. Absolutely. And if you have any, if you guys even come across anybody else, let us know. Yeah. We have, we work with several investors that yep. are willing to, you know, take some of these. Yep. Yeah, uh, on projects on, so. That's one of the advantages of being in this Absolutely. business is yeah. you meet a lot of people and they end up having similar goals outside of yeah. the core thing we do here. And that's kind of this situation exactly. here. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, listen to Andy. I'm telling you, <laughs> if anybody does all their work, you know, and I use this quote with Andy because if you don't know, now you know, especially when you're surrounded with this guy. Uh, but he's just a wealth of knowledge. He takes time to make sure to wake up super early in the morning when the stock market opens up back east which is <laughs> well the stock market open at 6 30 but sometimes the news comes out at five like it, today i was texting you guys at five exactly. hey check this out <laughs> so it's really good to have a resource like that that just comes to you immediately you know and so all this information is giving. I mean, uh, this guy's even uh, a, a financial analyst already because he tells me a month in advance what's going to happen. I'm almost like, Andy, uh, I know you don't have a crystal ball. You're early. You know, <laughs> but your head kind of looks like one here, right? But uh, he's just a wealth of knowledge. So I do appreciate all that information, Andy. And yeah. uh, thank you for giving all this. Because, yeah. yes. Being prepared is going to be one of the things. Remember yep. the three P's, guys. Yep. I know I'm going to practice that for yep. sure. Well, and I hope just like earlier, we were talking about having good people in your corner. Put yeah. us in your corner. Put if we're not already corner. in your corner for economics and forecasting of what it looks like in real estate and mortgage, put us in your corner. We're right here. We're available. You can reach Will directly. You can reach Absolutely. me directly. You can also comment on this video, direct message us. Let us know how we can help you win in real estate uh, because we want you to win, win and you need to know what's going on first in Absolutely. order to make qualified choices. I'm telling you, all these ADUs, because it's a new ruin all that we are helping military families our military yes. families yep. and i and i could really closely relate to them because things that we didn't know were possible with the right information the right people these things are possible yes i have one of my buddies i just put a 30-day notice after being you know uh um right. Uh, retired from the military he's just like well i did this adu that's another income that is going to help me offset yep. so i want to go and just enjoy the world yeah so yeah. hey jp Shout out to you, Thanks buddy. for watching. And congratulations <laughs> with all of that, right? Yep. So, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yep. Um, I did some tours. We'll send that on the next video, though. All right. Sounds good. Uh, one last thing, Andy. Um, Christians Big Heart, thank you again, once again, for your, all your uh, yeah. uh, for allowing us to be so successful and for supporting us. But we do have a heart screening at Torrey Pines yes. High School on October 23rd. Yes. If you have any friends, family members that have children between the ages of 15 to 25, please send them over. We'll put a link there to EP Save a Life so they can register, yes. okay? Yep. Hey guys, thank you again, Andy. All love right. You. Thank you guys. Have a great week and we'll see you again next week. See ya.